Hi, I'm Jameson, and this is Biologic Labs. Today, we're going to be learning about how to make growth medium for E. coli strains such as K12 and various other lab research strains. It comes down to three basic components. Tryptone, yeast extract, and salt. The first thing you want to do is turn on your scale and let it warm up for a while. That actually matters and it gives better accuracy if you give 15 or 20 minutes of warm up time. You'll also want to make sure your scale is level. Some scales have, have balances and levels in the back with a little bubble, as you can see this one does. And you'll want to move the feet around on the bottom and make sure you, you, you get it at absolute center and level before you start measuring. Today, we're going to be making about 250 millimeters of growth medium. So what we'll do is we start by taking a beaker and adding a magnetic stir to that beaker. If you have a magnetic stir, this helps out a lot. Next, you'll want to add some DI water. This stuff will do. This. You don't want to put in 250 milliliters, but you want to put in some, enough to mix what we're going to be working with. We'll top it off at the end, and I'll tell you, we'll come back to why that's important later. I'll try it about a little over 100 milliliters. Here's a chart we use in my lab, which tells you the amount you need to weigh out for the volume you're trying to make. The first thing we'll want to do is take out a sterile weigh boat. And I usually don't even take off the top one, you know, like a solo cup or anything else. You, you dig down a little bit, then you put it in there. Then you want to zero out your scale. And the first thing we're going to do is 2.5 grams of triptone. So one way, what I always do, is I just slowly tap out 2.5 grams. Next, you'll want to take off the weigh boat. And these things, they fold and they bend like this. So you'll want to be able to just dump it whoop, right in like so. Now one of the reasons we didn't fill it up all the way is if you take a little wash bottle, you can spray down. I just tap it like this. To make sure you get everything that you weighed out back into the beaker. Just like so. So you know that's all in there. Next, we get a brand new weigh boat. You don't want to contaminate these, and you don't want to have the false weight of the water in there. Other things. So next we have yeast extract. 1.5 grams. So here we go. I'm at 1.25 grams, I'm sorry, one and a quarter. All right, we'll start to slow down. And we are there. So 
Same technique. Fold it in half, dump it in, and wash down the remaining. Let that mix up. As you can see, we're quickly approaching 200 milliliters. We don't want to go over 250. Lastly, one more wave boat. We need the sodium chloride. If we check our chart, it's another two and a half grams. So we'll take the salt and weigh out two and a half grams. Salt is pretty dense, so you can quickly approach your, your weight. So you want to very carefully tap out. Once, oh, and we went way over. That's okay. As long as it's approximate, that's all you want to do. You'll want to note this in your lab notes of all the weight so you can always understand and go back and process what happened. Let's go ahead and dump this one out. Wash down the rest. And then you can either dump in with your, your original bottle or you can just take the spray bottle and just fill up if you're close enough to 250 milliliters. You want to get down to eyeball level and actually check and see when we hit 250 milliliters. We're approaching it, but we're not quite there. So a very scientific way of doing this. And there we are. Lastly, you want to get some tin foil and cover the beaker. You'll want to autoclave the growth medium before using it because you'll grow all kinds of things, not just your K-12. So place that in the autoclave next to whatever else you need. Thanks for watching this video. To learn more, follow us on Facebook and YouTube under Biologic Labs.